I'm standing in A Life of Drawing, highlights from the Leighton House Collection, an exhibition that showcases some of the artist Frederick Leighton's most beautiful and impressive artworks, his works on paper. This exhibition is in a newly designed gallery space that's specifically for works on paper to be shown safely, and it's in the new wing of Leighton House Museum. The exhibition is free for visitors, and it shows some of the artworks that Leighton considered to be his most important works. These two portrait heads were some of the more than 50 drawings that Leighton created as he was preparing to paint Cimabue's celebrated Madonna. He exhibited the painting in 1855 at the Royal Academy, and immediately it was purchased by Queen Victoria. He sent some initial sketches to his friend and his former art teacher, Edward von Steinle, in order to seek some feedback. And von Steinle recommended a few changes, so Leighton created these new portrait heads in order to show some of the most dynamic and interesting faces and gestures that were going to be in the painting. Once he'd finished these heads, he was so excited about what he'd achieved that he wished he could show them to von Steinle, who was in Frankfurt at the time. He wrote to him and said, these are wonderful, I wish that you were here in order to see them. This is one of Leighton's most interesting drawings because it's a drawing of someone making a drawing. It shows a couple leaning together, their hands intertwined while the man is making a sketch. And it's especially interesting because it shows the three different types of drawing that Leighton used in order to prepare to paint. It shows first a compositional study, which demonstrates what the full drawing would look like when it was turned into a painting within a frame. Then we have a figure study showing the couple together, leaning next to one another. And then we have an anatomical study of their hands intertwined so that he could really get to grips with the anatomy of their fingers and how they connected together. This drapery study was made by Leighton while he was preparing to paint The Return of Persephone based on the ancient Greek myth. He loved to spend hours perfecting how the drapery would sit so that he could draw it. So he arranged it just so. One of his friends described the way that Leighton would draw draperies, and he said that it was as though trying to depict the way that water flows over the rocks at the bottom of a riverbed. So he wanted the draperies to flow over the figure just so. You can see what he's done here is first he sketched the nude figure, and then using black and white chalks, he constructed this really elaborate ripple effect of the drapery, so the draperies actually conform exactly to the curves of her body.